guys, it's Chris, and we're back once again on the 4000, and we're doing something a little different. I saw a video that Doug did on this uh, IDE SSD, and I thought, heck, I gotta get me one of them. So I bought one, and uh, he's got the link, and I'll toss the link in the description below. If you haven't watched his video on the storage media, go ahead and check it out. So anyway, this is the King Spec uh, IDE 32 gig. They sell it in a 64 and a 32. I got the 32 because that's fine for me. It was like 40 something dollars, 41 dollars shipped on Amazon. Got it in two days on Prime. So let's open her up. Uh, has a window for something, but has this little pull tab thing here. I guess you just pull it. Uh, okay. You get the hard drive, and you get a 8 inch cable, and you get some machine thread screws. Cool. So that, I was going to put in here, so I started looking through the uh, boxes of Amiga stuff, and uh, I found this. I figure this is perfect for the 4000. Uh, this is a ECS Spectrum from GVP, Great Valley Products, that apparently I had and don't know what I did with the cable, but this one always did the uh, RGB and VGA, so you could, it had like a 23 to 9 here that would go from the Amiga's video port into here, and a st standard VGA monitor would go to here. I have no idea what I've done with this cable, so I do have one. It's on the back of the 1084. Ha <laughs> ha, I remember where the cable is now. Oh, sh So what I'm going to do is I have the uh, original Amiga uh, DB23 to DB9, but because the Spectrum also had a male port, this isn't going to plug in. So I needed to buy this little gender changer thing here, female to female, that this will just plug in here and it screws in. and then your 9-pin RGB would plug into it. That way, this card will handle the 15 and the 31, and it only puts out on the 31, so you don't need to worry about having a monitor that does both. It'll do both. The only downfall is, is I lost my disc to this probably 20-something years ago. I want some higher resolutions than just multi-scan, and I went over the promoter thing. You saw that one probably about how to promote uh, screens that are, you know, in, in other resolutions to get them to auto scale to the multi-scan or VGA only monitors. It's good, but it's not 100% perfect. If you're, if you're a gamer, you're gonna notice some problems. If you need to boot off of a floppy drive, of course, that's in 15 kilohertz. You can't upscale that because Workbench hasn't loaded yet. So those two things, uh, like the Mode Pro and Boot Control, they will not function properly. So we're going to take the 4000 cover off, and we're going to slap in the Spectrum. I have to download Picasso 96. I have it somewhere, and I'm going to transfer some stuff over to this first. I did find the discs for the Spectrum on the Big Book of Amiga Hardware. Actually, they had all the discs, and I think the GVP-M site also has them. So let me get this cover off. And we'll slap this card out. Uh, is this? This is a 3.5 to 2.5. It'll fit like right in here. And I'm going to actually take out the uh, original drive and mothball it, write a sticker on it. Maybe I'll use it one day. It's still got all the stuff on here from what you saw in the final episode of, if you haven't seen it yet, the restoration of the 4000 here. I don't know what the hell this says on it. Besides 2.5 PETA parallel ITA, 32 gig. Oh, Janssen. Janssen. Okay, well, that's fine by me. And it's going to go this way, so we're going to stick this like this, and she lines up perfectly. We're going to use the little included flat Phillips screws because they work. And there we go, with two screws in, that's how she'll sit. She'll sit right in here like this and gives me plenty of room for the 040 fan. The hard drive fits for now. I'm not going to do that yet, but we got it. That's awesome. 
Got two more screws. I'll have to screw into something. Now we're going to put the uh, the GVP board in here. So we're going to turn this off and close my Amiga Explorer. Quit directory opus. Quit. And that. Quit. And we'll turn this off. So this will go in the top slot here. I don't have to go with the top slot because it's not using this, the graphics card slot. It's a Zorro card. This is going to be weird. Okay. So this goes in here. This goes into the video slot. That way you don't need the buffer thing. All right. So with the dude on VGA, I don't have the drivers for this, but we're going to turn it on. Oops, my fan decided it was going to go. Okay. So before I go crazy here, let's get the uh, Picasso 96 installed. Picasso is installed. I'm going to reboot one more time before I go gung-ho. Alright, get rid of this one. And I think we drag this to that or drag this to that. There we go. All right, so Spectrum, we're gonna do, all right, let's go into screen mode and flip this thing to better graphics. So we're in multi-scan, we're gonna do Spectrum, lots of modes. We're gonna do 800 by 600, 24 bit, 16 million. We're just gonna hit save and do it and okay and get this out of the way. Now I have to put it on the card. So 16.7 million, high color, yeah, a little bit over scanny. I gotta do the over scan and it doesn't look really good. Okay, uh, it's a little glitchy. Eh, it's working. It takes a little longer to boot, but at least it works. My over scan looks pretty good to me. This'll do 1280 by 1024. Woo! Let's try that. I don't know if it's gonna be any good. 1280 by 1024, 256 colors. We're just going to hit test. Wow. That is a resolution. Oh my. Let's use it. Let's see how it functions. It's at 56 hertz, so it's a little bit... Eh. Let's see if the monitor... Oh my gosh, my cursor is small. I don't like that. It doesn't look good, and I can't see crap. Display information. We are at 720 by 576 at 50 hertz. So this is in a weird mode. It's in like a PAL mode. I need to hook that other cable up. So here we are in ugly mode. I have forgotten about this Spectrum stuff. So what I did was I hooked up the loop cable, and here is the ugly mode. So if I was to run something... It would run in ugly mode. Well, this is going to be promoted because I uh, I have that program running. So I need to go and go into Mode Pro here. Let's go into Screen Mode. Am I still recording? And we're going to select the Spectrum. We're going to do an 800 by 600 16-bit PC. But before we do that, we're going to load up Picasso 96 Preferences here. Oh. Where are they? Everything got jiggled all around. There it is. Yes. Okay, Spectrum Village 31, huh? Oh, whoops. I have to adjust this to get this to freaking 60 hertz, but it's all the way up. I don't know if... Yeah, 24 hertz. Let's see, high as I can go. 27, 28, 29, 30. Let's, can I drag this? 46. Okay, 256 I can do. So let's take this up to 60 hertz. There we go. 60 freaking hertz. So that one's 60. High color. Check off. I gotta take that up to 60. Whoa. Because that's how we roll there. True color, we're not going to get up that high. High as we can get is 46. And this one, true color alpha, 
I can't touch because I don't think it does it. So 320 is all 60. 640 by 480 is close enough to 60. What a pain in the butt. Yes, I can't do that one. 800 by 600, I already did. 1024 by 768. Oh, that's why it wouldn't show. It's in 74 freaking hertz. Let's take that down a tick. 60. I'm just setting all my modes. Yes. There we go. Okay, so we'll do that. 800 by 600 in high color. Resume. And now let's set my freaking screen mode. So, 800 by 600 in high color. We're going to leave it on default. We're going to say save. We're going to say save. Now we're going to do our flip-flop thing. There we are. 800 by 600 high color. Picasso 96 on the GVP ECS Spectrum. I have to play around with this some more. But, you know what? We got a video card, and it's working. I got to get the loopy thing doing the pass-through. I got to get the software installed. So I have to go and make all the discs or the ADFs if I can and uh, get her rolling. So... She works. Got a video card now. We can display better resolutions without Mode Pro. Mode Pro works, but oh, for some higher color images or whatever. It takes longer to boot now with that card. Come on, brighten up there. There we go. So there we go. And there by 600. So that's the ECS Spectrum. 24-bit graphics card for now the Amiga 4000. I was going to toss it in the 3000, but the 3000 has the amber chip, and it already has a flicker fixer, and basically has VGA support, and everything works. Just um, The 2000 has the RTG from the Vampire, and I also have a flicker fixer card in it, so I don't need it on that. The 600 and the 1200, I just used through the Chinesium uh, HDMI to SCART and it works, or DB23 to SCART, SCART to HDMI into the Dell, it works fine. I will fart around with this some more and we'll get it sorted. But that is my video card for the 4040. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something.